This is how you can automatically edit and send your contracts to your clients. This is what we're going to be going over in this video. Why you should automate this, how to actually automate this, and a bonus tip at the end. Firstly, why should you actually spend your time setting up this automation? As an agency owner, one of the biggest costs you have is time, whether it's your time or your staff time. And there's no point wasting that doing manual tasks like editing contracts or sending them to clients. You need to learn how to become as time efficient as possible because time is literally money. This automation will set you on the right path to doing so and then you can begin automating your entire onboarding process. Secondly, automatically editing your contracts creates some sort of consistency within your business and avoids any human mistakes. We're humans, we all make mistakes, but when it comes to things like onboarding, this is your first impression of your customer and you don't want the contract to include a wrong date, wrong services or even the wrong price as it can really put the customer off and even lose your sale. Automating this will get rid of any human mistakes and have a consistent contract for each one of your clients. Lastly, it causes less resistance from clients. Now, the reason I say this is because it creates less of a delay when you're dealing with clients. Let's say you onboard a client and you manually have to edit the contract yourself along with all the million other things you're doing, it will cause a delay. If you're to set up this automation, you can just automatically send the contract as soon as the call is over and actually impress your client with how speedy you are. Now that we're on the same page on why you should automate this, let me show you how you can actually do this. Now to do this, you'll need a Zapier account. If you don't know what that is or you don't know how to set it up, make sure to check the other videos on my channel. I have a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to actually set up your own Zapier account. They have a free 14-day trial, so make sure to make the most of that. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to actually go about doing this, whether you want to use an app like PandaDoc or DocuSign or just use Google Docs, the choice is going to be yours. Today, we're going to be just using Google Docs. It's extremely beginner-friendly and, in my opinion, it also gives you a bit more space to customize. But, once again, the choice is completely yours. You can follow the same kind of logic and approach to all the other tools that there are out there. As as always the first step to any automation is a trigger now we usually embed this within our onboarding automation which is about 15 different automations put together so the trigger for that would usually be a client me and move to closed but once again the choice is yours i've seen some people also trigger this after they receive the first payment so play around with it and figure out what works better for you the second step is to find a document in google doc now this document will be a template document let me touch on that quickly your template document has to be set up in a specific way. Firstly, put it in a folder that can easily be found because you'll be looking for it in Zapier. Secondly, for all the sections that you want to customize, add them within these brackets. Another tip is don't put any spaces because it won't be picked up on Zapier. So for example, if I want to customize uh, the date for each contract, I'd put bracket, bracket, date, bracket, bracket. If I want to customize the company name, I'll put bracket, bracket, company name together with no spaces, bracket, bracket. You get a point of it. Do this for all the steps you want to customize, such as the price, services, etc. This is an example of a document that I've made. As you can see, it's a template and all the different sections that I want to customize are put in the square brackets with no spaces. And this will be picked up as a field when we go back to our Zapier. So what we have to do now is connect your Google Doc account, find the document name by simply putting the name such as contract template. I'll probably suggest picking a folder as well just to make it easier and avoid any chances of any duplicates or something like that. And as simple as that, press continue and test. Once you've tested it and can see that works properly, let's move over to the next step, which is actually creating the document from the template. There's some things you're gonna have to edit. Firstly, the document name. I'll suggest pulling in the name of the client straight here and adding client name contract for the new document. In terms of the folder new document, I would also suggest creating a folder that's client folders for example or something along those lines so you have everything stored in one place nice and clearly in terms of sharing preferences this also depends on how you actually intend to use this document if you're planning on sending this document to your customers as a link then make sure you have it as anyone with a link can edit so they can actually add their signatures and the names if you're planning to convert this to pdf for example just leave it as anyone with a link can view now as you go through it you'll see the different fields make sure to edit all the different fields that are there now it will be a lot easier if you have all of these set up in your CRM so you can put it directly into it and you don't have to do any manual work or anything like that. It'll make your life a lot easier. Make sure to test this step as soon as you've done everything. Open your new contract and you'll see all the forms automatically filled in. So the next step depends on how you plan to use this contract once again. For now, we're going to be saying that we're going to send this as a link within our onboarding email. So we simply add another step then Gmail to send this with an onboarding contract. If you're going to do this, make sure in the previous step you set the sharing preferences 
to anyone with link can edit because without this they won't be able to actually edit the contract if you were to take a different approach and save this as a pdf you'd have to use different apps that save the document as a pdf these cost about 20 dollars or something like that depending on how much you actually use it once again not completely necessary but if you'd rather have it as a pdf then feel free to do that in terms of sending an email to your client if you want a pro tip use AI to personalize this email. Simply add another step within ChatGPT that takes some information from the customer in your CRM database and edits an existing email draft using some of the client's information. For example, if within the onboarding call they mention that they want to scale to six figures, AI will learn from that and actually embed that in an email saying something like, I'm so excited to help you to scale six figures. Here's the contract template. Make sure you sign as soon as possible so we can get started. That's just a quick example, but you get a point. Using AI within your automations can completely personalize the experience for your clients and also impress wow. them because they feel like they're dealing with a speedy human who never makes mistakes when in reality it's just your automations running for you. Another bonus tip I'll give you is to create another automation which alerts your team once your contract is signed. If you want a whole video going through that one as well, just drop a comment and I'll try my best to actually record it. If any of this sounded interesting, I've got a document with four actionable tools you can use to automate your agency. I have a run on autopilot so you can focus on the important things. There's even a savings calculator to show you the thousands that automations can save your agency. We usually give it to clients when they first sign up, but I'm more than happy to share it with you guys to free to get you started on an automation journey. This isn't even 1% of what we can do using automation. So if you want to move from operator to CEO without losing any personal touch or control of your agency, book in a demo call with our team. We'll be more than happy to speak to you and see if you're a good fit for us. Before you go, make sure to check out all the different videos we have on the YouTube channel. We have a bunch of different step-by-step -step breakdowns exactly like this that you can use to kickstart automations within your agency. We release all this content for free. The only thing we ask from you is to actually implement this in your agency because they can be a real game changer. If you want access to this specific template, all you have to do is take a screenshot of this video, show me that you're subscribed and you've liked the video and I'll send it over to you for free on Instagram. If you have any questions about the automation in this video, just drop a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.